Good day students. Today we are going to study chemical symbol. Well, first of all, we have to define some term. What is a symbol? A symbol is referred to as a character that is meant to represent another. When we talk about an atom, we are referring to the smallest part of an element that can ever exist and still possesses what the chemical properties of that element. Then, when most atoms can't exist alone, they bond together with other atoms to form what is known as a molecule. Then we talk about the symbols of elements. How come with elements having symbols? Today we are going to find out. So in 1814, a man called Bezilius suggested a simple system of representing elements with symbol is in three cases so the first case he suggested that what the first letter of the element that is the first letter of the name of an element should be taken as the symbol for what as the symbol for that element you can see examples we have hydrogen hydrogen is, rep is represented with h sulfur represented with s oxygen o carbon c and in second case, he suggested that where the first letter had already been adopted, the initial letter in capital together with a small letter from its name should be used. Then we can see examples we have caution, the first letter in capital, then the other with what small letter. You can see caution C A, chlorine C L, aluminium A L cobalt co helium he then we talk about the third case here the third case is somehow related to the second case but here is applied to the latin name not the element itself as it was in the second case so we take example here you see we have the latin name of sodium to be natrium and the symbol is from the latin name that is the initial the first letter of the latin name in capital n followed by the other letter then a was chosen in small letter same applies to ion we can see the latin name of ion ferrum and the symbol fe we have the tin stannin the symbol from the latin name sn we have copper the latin name to be copron and the symbol to be ucu and the last one in the list is gold the latin name of gold is iron then the symbol is au then we talk about the symbols of compound whenever you hear the word compound what should always come to your mind is what combination or mixture of more than one element here we're having what more than one element it's no longer oxygen it's no longer only carbon or oxygen no this is the combination one by you bring carbon and oxygen together or more than one element or more than two elements that is when we're talking about compound so here in symbol form in symbol for compound we have to look first that all the component elements are written what closely together as a group that is number one they are all written closely as a gr group and number two the number of atoms of each component element is written as what a subscript after the symbol of that element example we have water h2o in water we seem to have two atoms of what hydrogen and one atoms of what oxygen that is why you usually have h then subscript two and then zero o Exam other examples we have calcium triozo carbonate four which is written as ca that is calcium carbon and oxygen here we have three atoms of oxygen in this particular compound and we have another example to be sodium chloride we have sodium one atom of sodium and as well as one atom of chlorine we have magnesium chloride and we move all the, over to the radical whenever you hear the word radical what comes to your mind radicals are known as an atom or group of atoms it could be ion or molecules that have one or more unpaired electrons in summary we have the first 20 elements which include the hydrogen 
helium, lithium, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, and calcium. These are the first 20 elements. Please answer the questions below. Thank you and do have a nice day. Bye.